the duality of goddesses, Athena and Minerva. Since I came across it many, many times, the punishment of metamorphosis, as done, for example, with Arachna, is being attributed to Athena, even though the goddess Athena has nothing to do with it. Beginning with the divine parallels. In the vast pantheon of mythology, the goddesses Athena and Minerva stand as a prominent figure embodying wisdom, courage, and strategic warfare, revealed by the ancient Greeks and Romans. These deities share striking similarities, reflecting the cultural exchange and religious syncretism of the ancient world. However, within the literary verbs of the Roman poet Ovid, who wrote the Metamorphoses, a distinct divergence emerges between the two goddesses. Ovid's portrayal of Minerva emphasizes a vengeful nature and retributive actions, often associating her with the acts of punishment and transformation, it is Metamorphoses. On the other hand, Athena remains characterized by her benevolence, wise counsel, and protection of heroes and cities. For example, she was the only one with the box of Pandora who gave hope. In this chapter, we will delve into the contrasting depictions of Athena and Minerva, exploring the mythological narratives attributed to them and examining how their characterizations differ in various literary works. For this exploration, we will unravel the complexities of these divine goddesses and shed light on the duality of their role in ancient mythology. Beginning with Athena, the Greek goddess of wisdom and civilization. In Greek mythology, Athena, also known as Pallas Athena, is the goddess of wisdom, strategic warfare, crafts, civilization, and much, much more. She is the daughter of Zeus, the king of gods, and Metis, a titaness of wisdom, who was very good in transforming herself. According to the myth, Zeus swallowed Metis while she was pregnant with Athena fearing that their child would overthrow him. For this, he convinced her to transform into a drop of water. However, Athena later emerged fully crown and fully armed on Zeus's head, symbolizing her divine birth in association with intellect and wisdom. She is often depicted wearing a helmet and holding a shield, Spare. Athena is celebrated for her role as the protector of heroes and cities, including her patronage of the Athens, capital of Greece. Jane at Perseus, Odysseus, Heracles, and their quests, offering wise counsel and assistance. Throughout Greek mythology, Athena is revered for her rationality, compassion, and strategic prowess. She is known to favor diplomacy and peaceful resolutions whenever possible, and her wisdom is sought after by gods and mortals alike. Not to compare her with Ares, the god of war, while Ares is more for the brutal war, the attacking war. Athena is more for the protecting, for the strategic, for the wise kind of war. Now on to Minerva, the Roman goddess of wisdom and war. In Roman mythology, Minerva is the equivalent of the Greek goddess Athena and shares many of her attributes. As the goddess of wisdom, strategy, and the arts, Minerva is associated with the knowledge, intellect, and civilization. She is considered the guardian of craftspeople 
and is often depicted with a shield, spear, and owl, symbolizing wisdom. However, in all of its work, *Metamorphosis*, Minerva is portrayed in a more complex light. While she retains her role as a goddess of wisdom and civilization, Ovid emphasizes her vengeful nature and nature of punishment. For example, in the tale of Arachne, a talented mortal weaver who challenged Minerva's weaving skills, the goddess transforms Arachne into a spider as retribution for her audacity. Similarly, in the story of Medusa, a beautiful mortal woman, whom Minerva accuses of desecrating her temple, the goddess hides in her transformation into a gorgon. A monstrous creature with the power to turn people to stone with a mere gaze at her eyes. In these instances, Ovid's depiction of Minerva accentuates her punitive aspect, reflecting a more assertive and avenging portrayal compared to her traditional role as a benevolent and wise deity. Now, in the contrast, Athena's benevolence. Versus Minerva's retribution, Ovid's portrayal. In exploring the contrast between Athena and Minerva, it is essential to dive into Ovid's portrayal of the Roman goddess in *Metamorphoses*. Ovid, a Roman poet, penned this epic work during the reign of Augustus. A period marked by significant political and cultural changes in ancient Rome. While Ovid's *Metamorphoses* celebrated with poetic brilliance and imaginative storytelling, it has also faced criticism and controversy due to its portrayal of Minerva and other mythological figures. In Ovid's rendition, Minerva takes on a more punitive and vengeful nature. Which has sparked debates among scholars and enthusiasts alike. Ovid's portrayal of Minerva's retributive actions, such as the transformation of Arachne into a spider, and aiding in the transformation of Medusa into a gorgon, raises questions about the motivations behind his artistic choices. Some scholars argue that Ovid's depiction of Minerva may have been influenced. By the political climate of his time, when the rule of Augustus encouraged the sight of harmony and virtue, in this context, or its portrayal of Minerva as an avenging deity might serve as a cautionary tale, warning against deviants and hubris, as well as a reminder of the consequences of disrupting the established order. By emphasizing Minerva's punitive aspects, Ovid may have sought to reinforce the idea of divine justice and the need for individuals to remain within societal boundaries. However, it is important to note that Ovid's interpretation is just one perspective among many in a vast tapestry of mythology. Critics argue. That Ovid's portrayal does not align with traditional beliefs and reverence for Minerva, which has led to debates about the accuracy and ethics of his artistic liberties. Moreover, Ovid's portrayal of Minerva's vengeful nature can be seen as a reflection of his literary style, when he often explored the complexities of human emotions and the dark aspects of human nature. This focus. On psychological death and moral ambiguity is characteristic of Ovid's works, which aim to challenge conventional perceptions and engage readers in thought-provoking narratives. In the modern context, it is essential to approach Ovid's depiction of Minerva with a critical lens, recognizing the artistic license he took as a poet. And the potential impact of his work on shaping perceptions of mythological figures. As we examine all its portrayal, we must also acknowledge that mythological narratives have evolved over time and have been subjected to various interpretations and adaptations. In conclusion, 
Ovid's portrayal of Minerva in Metamorphosis prevents a divergent depiction of the traditional attributes attributed to her in Roman mythology. His artistic choices and emphasis on Minerva's punitive nature have sparked debates and criticism. As we navigate the world of mythology on this channel, it is crucial to explore various sources and limitations to gain a comprehensive understanding of the rich and multifaceted nature of divine figures and their enduring legacy in human imagination and understanding. Now on to syncretism and cultural exchange. The congregants of Athena and Minerva within the ancient world demonstrates the concept of syncretism, when deities from different cultures and pantheons are identified and merged due to their perceived similarities. The Roman adaptation of the Greek goddess Athena is Minerva, exemplifies the cultural exchange and religious syncretism prevalent in the ancient Mediterranean worlds. In the browser of syncretism, the goddess' individual qualities and attributes were interwoven, creating a complex and multifaceted depiction that reflects the planting of cultural beliefs and religious practices. And lastly, the mythological legacy. The contrasting depiction of Athena and Minerva exemplified the duality and richness of divine figures in mythology. While both goddesses embody wisdom and strategic warfare, their characterizations diverge in various literary works, illustrating the intricate interplay of cultural perspectives and literary interpretations. Athena remains a symbol of benevolence, rationality, and protection. We were here for her wisdom and strategic counsel. In contrast, always portrayal of Minerva in Metamorphosis accentuates her avenging nature and punitive actions, introducing a more complex and assertive aspect to her character. As we traverse the realm of mythology, we encounter interwoven threads of divine duality, reflecting the multifaceted age of gods and goddesses in human narratives. The contrasting picture of Athena and Minerva invite us to explore the depths of divine archetypes and the ever-evolving tapestry of human imagination. In contemplating the divine duality, we recognize the power of myth to transcend cultural boundaries, shape belief systems, and inspire the human spirit across generations.